blessings a community of spouses listen i want to speak to my wives today to my wives for the past week i say uh, the lord has been dealing with me about this bible chapter out of first corinthians chapter 7 verse 16. the bible chapter simply says how do you know wife whether you will save your husband how do you know wife whether or not you will save your husband so we do know that Jesus Christ is the Savior. He's the Savior of the world. He's the one who has come to save us from our sins. But what this Bible verse is saying is, wife, how do you know that your support, your words of encouragement, your affirmation, your uplifting, your uh, demonstration, uh, uh, your, your character, your demonstration, your behavior towards your spouse, how do you know it, was be, it won't be those things that save him how do you know that your spouse won't look at something that he sees in you that will save him from going down the wrong road i want to share that verse with you ladies today and pray it in god is looking for kingdom in this hour it's time for us to get away from marriage as usual everyone wants to do the same simple routine thing and god is saying enough with that enough with that i've seen that i've already went down that road i've already did that i'm looking for a kingdom i'm looking for a kingdom and so i come on today representing the kingdom i have been critical in past um with my spouse and i have not always been as affirming and as supportive just because of frustrations or because of things that he may have did or said that may have bothered me and god is telling me and for me to share with you in this hour to get away from your emotions now that's hard because women we are emotional beings but god is saying your spouse's soul is on the line your spouse's soul is on the line so i need you to get away from the emotional side and i need you to put on your kingdom hat so i want to pray in first corinthians 7 16 for my wives today for the ones that are saying you know what i'm at the end of my road with this I'm, I'm i'm done i'm tying my hands um this is foolery i can't do this no more I'm, I'm walking away from my marriage i'm done and god is saying how do you not how do you know wife that you may be the one you may be just the answer that he needs how do you know that it won't be you something that you say something that you do in that time uh, of need how do you know that you won't be the one that be able to save him god has called us for such a time as this wise to come for it. So I want us to pray. Father, I just bless your holy and mighty name, giving you all the praises and the glory. Thank you, Father God, for who you are, for your magnificent power, for your faithfulness, God, in our lives. I just bless you, Father God, on today, and thank you for the things that you are doing and how you continue to turn things around, God. How even in this hour, even in this dark hour, God, that you are still speaking to your prophets, that you are still speaking to your prophetesses, that you are still speaking to men and women in this hour. I pray, Father, now in your son Jesus' name, for the ones that need to gravitate to this video to gravitate to it today in Jesus mighty name. I'm praying Father God that you will speak to the hearts of wives God. Give them an ear to hear you in this hour. I pray Father God that you will create in them Psalms 51 and 10 create in them a clean heart, a renewed and right spirit Father God so that we may worship and honor you God I'm praying Father God that you remove the gunk the frustration, the discouragement all the things that wives are dealing with on a regular God. I'm praying that you will help them God to remove those things in this hour so we can focus on what you are saying to us god lord if it's something that you would have for us to do concerning our spouses lord give us wisdom god your word tells us that uh in, in the book of proverbs which is a book of wisdom give us wisdom god i pray for a, a a pouring of wisdom to fall on your wives today god including myself in jesus mighty name I bind up anything that the evil one is trying to do in the hearts of wives as far as keeping them in the dark, as far as keeping them in frustration, as far as keeping them bent over, as far as keeping them in a, in a holding spot. I bind that spirit now, Father God, by your son, Jesus' precious blood, and I loose the spirit of Jesus Christ, the Lord, over it now. I loose the spirit of wisdom over wives today. I loose the spirit of encouragement and endurance over wives today in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I just 
just bless your holy and mighty name, God, and thanking you for the things that you're doing in this hour as we continue to stand on your word, trusting you, as we continue to lift up our eyes, God, to you daily for your for your help, God. It is you who strengthen us. It is you who give us the power. It is you to help us to do the things that we need to do, God. So help us, God, as we continue to walk in this wife mantle. Help us, God, to do what it is to serve our spouses, even in frustration moments, even in the moments that we want to give up, even in the moments that we feel like we want to give and throw in the towel, God. This is a 911. This is an emergency. Wives, hear me on today. 1 Corinthians 7, 16. How do you know, wife? How do you know whether or not you will be the one that saved your husband? Hold on, wives. God is on the way. It may look like an emergency, but God has not forgotten you. Hold on. You may be just what your husband needs. Blessings.